What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chelsea Roach and I am here to teach you about all things makeup related. I live and breathe and die for makeup. If you don't know me, you'll know after watching some of my videos. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be reminded every time I post a video. Today I am doing a video on a Charlotte Tilbury inspired makeup look. Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite makeup artists. If you don't know who she is, um, I would look her up. She has her own makeup line. Her stuff is phenomenal. So this is what I came up with. This is my version of the look that she did. And I really, really love how it turned out. So if you guys would like to see how I did it, then go ahead and keep on watching. And I found a picture that I really love that I kind of wanted to follow um, for this makeup look. And I think it's just stunning. I mean, this model is incredible. But um, this kind of gives you an idea of like how she does her makeup. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, literally, her skin is just glowing. The shadow makes her eyes pop. She's really into doing like a winged liner, but with not with liquid. She always uses a pencil. So that's kind of what we're going to go for. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm first going to start out using my MAC strobe cream. I love this. This is in the gold light. <clears throat> and apply this all over the face. And it just like really gives your skin the most beautiful glow. We're going glowy, okay? And I'm actually gonna be trying out a new foundation today and it's supposed to be like crazy, crazy full coverage. So I wanna have like a little bit of a glow that shines through. So I will let you guys know, of course, how that foundation is as well. It's gonna be the Jouer um, Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I got a sample of this. I'm also gonna be using the James Charles Morphe palette and going in with the more like red, reddish brown shades just like in that picture so i'm gonna prime my eyelids first this is soft ochre paint pot from mac cosmetics and this is such a good primer and what i do is i go in with my i'm gonna zoom you guys in i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and we're just gonna literally pick it up off of out of the pot and apply that straight onto my eyelid and what this does is it really just like evens your skin out if you have any discoloration, which I do. You can see my veins. I've got a lot of redness. So this is just going to make like a really nice, even, clean slate for us to work with. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to set my eye and I'm going in with the first shade in the James Charles palette. It looks like the bone colored shade, which is this one right here. And we're just gonna apply that all over the entire lid to set that eyeshadow primer. Okay, next we're gonna go in with a really pretty orange shade. It's gonna be this bright orange right here. And we're gonna put that all along the crease and wing it out as well. So start focusing it like literally right where the crease is, but we're gonna pull it out into like a V shape to kind of give that like cat eye effect. But just going back and forth. And this is why we do our eyeshadow before we do our foundation so that we can clean up all of our edges before we go in and it doesn't affect any of our face makeup. Tapping back in that, doing the same thing. Just being really light-handed. Making sure we're getting up in the front as well, up by the brow. And then next what I'm gonna do is you wanna take a brush that has no product on it at all. And you want to just gently rub it along the edges to make sure that Everything's really clean and blended. There's no lines. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of a smaller brush and go in with the, the shade right next to the orange, this like deep, kind of deep red shade. And we're gonna go in and just kind of pack that along the outer corner and then drag it in as well. So we're just deepening up the crease now. So you're gonna start on the outer V and start packing that on and pulling it out and then bringing the excess into the crease. 
Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this like really pretty bronze shade in the palette, this one right here. And using my finger, I'm going to literally swipe that along my entire lid. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little tiny brush and we're gonna go in with the darkest brown in the palette, which is this one right here. And we're gonna focus that just on the very outer corner of the eye, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit and give a little bit more dimension. So we're just gonna pack it on this outer corner right here. And then drag it in just a little bit. And now I'm going to take the, I don't even know what these are called. These are like the loose pigments from KKW Beauty um, in the shade bronze. So I'm just going to basically shake it up a little bit, get it on my finger, and I'm just going to pack that right in the center of the lid. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the black eyeliner and we're gonna create a little bit of a wing. And I'll be using the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in the shade Blacker. And we're just gonna line the top of my eyes and do a little bit of a wing with that and then we're gonna smudge it out with a little tiny brush. And I love these pencils because they are so, so creamy because it's a gel pencil. And then what we do is we're going to take a little tiny brush. This is a Smith 212 brush and it's just a really baby like little flat brush. And I'm going to take that and just start smudging the black line. And this is why I love makeup wipes because obviously my line is messy and it's looking a little crazy, but you just take your finger in the makeup wipe and clean that line right up. Like so. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on some lashes and then we will get to our face. I am trying out the new Jouer High Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid, tripeptide complex, matte, and oil-free. So this is just like a little sample of it. And we're gonna try it out. This is in the shade Cool Beige. Um, I'm hoping that it matches me. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my hand. That looks good. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender and we are gonna start going, going in. So, right off the bat, it is very, very full coverage. It's like literally covering up everything. It's doing something kind of weird. Like, I feel like, because I, my favorite foundation is the YSL All Hours Foundation. And I feel like when I use a beauty blender and put it on my skin, it like, absorbs and like soaks into my skin and I kind of feel like for some reason this is like almost sitting on top of my skin a little bit we'll see how my concealers work with it but I mean damn that literally covered my life like I'm a freaking blank canvas right now okay and then I'm gonna go in with the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and apply that right underneath the eyes like I usually would I'm gonna take just a little dab of the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Concealer and just place that right on the inner corner to like brighten it up just a little bit. And then go back in with my Beauty Blender and blend it all out. Really well with this concealer, it's like pretty darn flawless. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in and contour a little bit using the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. This is just like a little stick cream contour. I 
Okay, and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe G40. This is my favorite brush for blending out contour. And we're just gonna very gently blend this into the skin. And then once I do that, I always, always go back in with my Beauty Blender and like pounce everything together to make sure it's nice and seamless. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to bake. I'm just going to take a heft, hefty amount of this and while that sits, we're going to finish the under eye area. So what I'm going to do is go back in with my black eyeliner, run it along the waterline. And then going in with a little smudger brush, we're going to go in with the darkest red shade or darkest brown shade that we used in the James Charles palette, which is going to be this one right here. And we are going to smudge that along the entire bottom waterline. And now with a little bit of a bigger brush, we're going to go in with the lighter orange shade and just smudge all of that out. Okay. And for inner corner highlights, I am going to take a tiny little pencil brush and take my MAC Fix Plus, spray that down, and then take this really pretty gold shade in the palette. It's the third one from the top. And I'm going to mix it with the gold shade next to it and pop that right on the inner corner just to give the eye a nice bright open eye effect. We're gonna go in and bronze up the face. I will be using my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Saddle. This is a MAC 135 S brush and we're just gonna warm the face up. And then I'm gonna go in with some blush and use the shade Peaches, this is like one of my favorite blushes ever. And then using my all nighter setting spray, we are gonna spray this face down. Okay, and for my favorite lip combination right now, I've gotten so many questions about it and I just like absolutely love the way that it looks. So we're gonna be using MAC Strip Down and then the Hourglass uh, Believer lipstick. I don't know if there's like a specific name for these, but it looks kind of like a pen, like a fat lipstick pencil, but super high shine, super beautiful. So that's what I'm going to be using on my lips. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. This is my Charlotte Tilbury inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys have any pictures or um, videos of makeup looks that you guys want me to do, just go ahead and send them to me or send them on my Instagram. It's just at Chelsea Roach. Um, I'm also going to keep you updated on the foundation and what I thought. I feel like it looks really, really beautiful right now, um, but wear tests we'll, we'll see later on throughout the day um, to see how much I really love it. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in my next video.